Welcome to Beacon Retirement Strategies, a show dedicated to helping you turn your retirement dreams into reality. From financial planning and wealth management to strategies for taxes, healthcare, and leaving a legacy, the team at Beacon Capital Management provides one-stop modern solutions for your journey to and through retirement. This is Beacon Retirement Strategies. We're glad to have you on the show today, and it is always a pleasure to be here with Pete Benson and Dan Benson. Hello, gentlemen. Nice hey, to see you, Amy. Nice to see you as well. I'm really looking forward to the show today. So much to cover, and we're going to start with a really big word. We hear it a lot when it comes to retirement planning, and that's diversification. We're going to go a little bit deeper into that today, right, Dan? Well, that's right, Amy. And diversification, as most people know it, is have some stocks, have some bonds, international, diversify yourself, but traditionally that's all correlated to just one thing, and that's the stock market. So as things go up, we make money. When things go down, we lose money. And even in 2008, a typical diversified portfolio still lost 35%. And when you're looking at retirement, to have all of your money in one asset class that could lose 35, 40% all at once is a little too much risk in our opinion. And so we like to help people understand what asset class diversification is. Having lots of different items and investments that aren't all correlated to each other to really help smooth out the ride. So at some point in our lives, we have probably all received an x-ray, but you say that there's a different type of x-ray that we need to get once we get closer to retirement. Yeah, how about a financial x-ray instead of a physical x-ray? And the financial x-ray really goes down and shows what is really part of your financial plan and your investments and everything that you have. And this is what this is, a financial x-ray results. And it talks about how much you're paying in fees, uh, how much your risk is, what about a tax situation, and are you paying too much there? Do you have an estate plan? There's a lot of factors there. So we do a gigantic financial x-ray on a client situation, and then they know what they need to work on. Okay, you put your medical hat on and go to work. Alright, All right, thanks so much. There's more to come. Stay with us right here on Beacon Retirement Strategies. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. When it comes to investing for retirement, it's important to know that returns on fixed income options like CDs, savings accounts, and even bonds are extremely low. And that's not likely going to change anytime soon. You need to generate income in retirement, but investing aggressively in the stock market comes with a lot more risk. If you're in or near retirement, this could be dangerous. However, there are some surprisingly attractive options to generate income in retirement without betting the farm. At Beacon Capital Management, we want to show you how to use your savings to generate retirement income with our free retirement income analysis. You'll discover the fastest way to increase your income that most people simply overlook. The key to protecting your principal from the increasing risk on Wall Street and the options to generate tax-free income in retirement. Learn your options, make your money work for you in retirement with our free retirement income analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. So hey gang, good to be around the table again today and uh, another great topic. As usual, we're going to talk today about standard diversification versus asset class diversification and why it's important that clients understand the difference and why we think asset class diversification is a good thing to look into. So, you know, the, the best place to start is, Dan, maybe you kick us off. What is standard diversification as most people know it? Well, diversification in and of itself, when people hear the word, they think diversification is going to mean safety mm -hmm. or more conservative, right? I'm going to diversify my risk. And to some degree, that's true. But if I were to tell you that I've got $250,000 in eight different bank accounts, Am I truly diversified or is all my money really sitting in the same type of asset class, right? It's all bank money, really not diversified in anything other than the title of the bank itself. So true diversification in the modern portfolio theory world would be having stocks, having bonds, international, small cap, mid cap, and that's, that's diversification and that's what people consider to be a safer way to invest. But if we look historically 
even those that were diversified in 2008 and 2001 and 2002 still lost an average of about 30 to 40 percent. And so while it does diversify the risk, it doesn't always necessarily lower the risk like asset class diversification would. Yeah, so we get asked all the time, what's the difference between standard diversification and asset class diversification? Well, you know, there's, there's thousands of investments, as we all know, but we believe there's three characteristics that describes every investment out there. It is return, liquidity, and capital preservation, okay? Now, if you're retired, you're close to retirement, you need all three of those characteristics as part of your money, right? Return, capital preservation, and liquidity. But here's the thing. You are not guaranteed all three of these characteristics in any one asset class. So let's take the stock market. We love the stock market. It's an inflation hedge. There's volatility in the stock market. You can get a good return if the market goes up. Stocks, bonds are completely liquid, but you're not guaranteed capital preservation. It kind of on the other side of the equation, you can go to a traditional bank or something that's principal protected, and you're going to get capital preservation, and you can get a decent return potentially, not what you're going to get long term in the market, but you also might have a limited time commitment over here. And so the, bo the bottom line is you need all three of these characteristics. Asset class diversification believes that your, your money should be spread out in different asset classes where you're accomplishing these three characteristics across those asset classes. Yeah, and I, I know this doesn't sound very complex, but one of the things that I often tell clients is just think of it this way. You need some of your investments zigging when another zags, whereas in so many cases they're diversified, but they all go one way. They either all go up or they all go down. But if you have some that are doing something different, then even if it's a really bad year, you always have a place to go that you can count on to draw money from and so on. And again, when you think about diversification, Patrick, I think about tax diversification too and how important that is. Yeah, Pete, we always talk about the three buckets, the taxable, the tax deferred, and then the tax free, and trying to make sure that you've got an allocation between those that, that makes sense because you want to pay some of those taxes now, you're going to have to pay them anyway, so you can guarantee a 0% tax rate in the future. Yeah. And I, I think, again, most people just think of, you know, their money, let's, let's pay the taxes in the future, but let's not think about paying any taxes now to pay less in the future. Again, you've got tax diversification, investment diversification. There's a lot of different things, Dan. There are. And, and when you're working, regular diversification is just fine when you're accumulating. Sure. Just diversify your investments in the market. Really be more aggressive when you're younger and try and accumulate enough to one day hopefully feel confident to retire. But that standard diversification, as you mentioned, John, it doesn't give us principal protection, mm -hmm. right? The market has risk. All market investments have risk. It's not always a great income producer either. You think about retirement. What's the single biggest thing people are going to want and need in retirement? It's income. And if you're investing in an investment that continually goes up and down, as long as the market only goes up, things are going to be pretty good. But what happens if the market starts to go down? You're pulling money off of that investment. If you don't have asset class diversification where some things aren't going down when the other is, retirement could be a little bit dicey and I can I can tell you this for clients we've met with that haven't had it it's pretty uncomfortable yeah and again it's it's going against the old let's have all our eggs in one basket because if you do that basket goes bad then you're in trouble so uh, it's very important to always think about this concerning taxes your investments and also estate planning making sure that they, they've spoken into that, uh, Ryan. So again, great topic here today. We could go so much further, but uh, again, we'll, we'll get on another one soon. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. Did you know taxes could be your biggest expense in retirement? It's true, and it catches a lot of people by surprise. You've worked too hard to overpay on taxes come retirement. Learn how to keep more of what's yours and maintain your lifestyle in retirement by downloading this free tax guide now from Beacon Capital Management. Find out ways to save on taxes and enjoy the retirement you deserve. Go to beaconcm.com slash tax guide to get yours today. If we've learned anything over the last few years, it's that we can expect change. And when it comes to retirement planning, it's more important than ever to have a solid plan to cover income, taxes, health care, and your estate. Overlooking just one of these can cost you big in retirement. To help you prepare, Beacon Capital offers a free financial plan checkup 
that will help you know if you're on the right track for retirement. Call now to schedule your free financial plan checkup. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. Time now for estate planning with Ryan Knight. Ryan, we're going to talk about organization. It scares me a little bit, but this is about estate planning. And just like other things in our life, it's important to stay organized. It is. One of the biggest struggles I find when I'm helping people to administer estate after people have passed is trying to figure out what there is, where it's all at, what banks are being used, or where were the money. I mean, I've had clients who have gone bank to bank to bank saying, did my dad do business with you? Did my mom do business with you? So staying organized is very important. So that can look a number of different ways, whether that's you know making sure you have a dedicated space for your state planning documents, having an organized sheet, whether it's Excel spreadsheet or whatever, a financial statement saying where your assets are, what you have. If you have real estate, where are those deeds located? You want to make sure all that is in place. Now, also conveying wishes. A lot of times there's misunderstandings after loved ones pass. You know, why did mom and dad do it this way? Making sure all that's out there in the open so there's no questions after you're gone is really important. And too few people do that. So much to think about. Thank you for the great information. And that is your estate planning tip of the week. In this week's Breaking Down the Basics, we're going to talk about your family's financial x-ray. You know, folks come to our office all the time and they'll ask us if they're in a good position with their investments. And the truth is, until we do some analysis and really dig into what you have within your investments and have a better understanding of what your financial goals and objectives are, we don't really know that. And what should be driving your decision about any firm that you're working with is not opinion but research. And so we talk to our clients about getting a financial x-ray. Now, what are the components of your financial x-ray? The first one is understanding what the volatility analysis is within the assets you're holding. I would say that if 100 retirees come into our office and you were to ask them if they were more aggressive or moderate or conservative, most of those folks would say that they are a more moderate investor. The problem is if you don't understand the volatility within your portfolio, you really don't know that. So the x-ray includes things like Morningstar reports and things that are really credible to help you understand what you have. And as you get ready to retire, it's really important that you understand these things. So first of all, what is a volatility report? A volatility report is where we're going to load your specific portfolio and it's going to tell us over the course of a full market cycle how much you could make and how much you could lose. For example, a couple came into my office recent, recently who said they were a conservative investor. And when we ran their volatility analysis, what we found was that at the low end of the range, there was a possibility that they could lose as much as 34% of their nest egg in retirement. Now, when I asked them if they were comfortable with that, they said, no, John, we're not comfortable with that. But if they had not had this volatility analysis done, they would have never known that they actually had too much risk for the stage of life they are in. The x-ray also includes what we refer to as a fee report. It's very uncommon and probably one of the most eye-opening experiences that folks have when they come into our office to truly understand what they're paying in fees. Now the common fee that most folks talk about is the management fee. That's what you pay a guy like me, which typically averages about 1%. But what about the underlying fees that are in your portfolio? So for example, if you have a set of mutual funds, you probably have 12B1 fees, transaction costs, soft dollar costs. These are a bunch of fees that unless you read your prospectuses cover to cover, you don't fully understand those. And what we find in many cases is that clients can have internal costs somewhere in the range of one to one and a half percent. Now when you add that to an advisory fee, you can get into some really hefty fees that take away from the performance of your investments. So we want to understand, understand volatility. We want to understand fees. We really want to understand the tax impact in your portfolio. For example, if you have an IRA, and let's say it's a half a million dollar IRA, there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is you've got a half a million dollars in an IRA. The bad news is that money doesn't all belong to you. Part of that money belongs to Uncle Sam. And as you start to take that money out for income, in retirement, whatever tax bracket you're currently in, let's say it's a 24% tax bracket, every $100 you take out, $24 of that money 
goes to the federal government. So you can never eliminate taxes. However, through analysis and planning, you can actually reduce taxes over time. The next thing we want to know is what is your risk score? How much risk are you taking right now for where the market is? And how would your portfolio perform in an up and down market? If you have too much risk, you can make adjustments before something happens, and there are some cases where you don't have enough risk. The next thing we want to run is an income report. When you retire, it's all about income. Do you know today exactly if the market was flat, if it didn't go up, it didn't go down, how much income would your portfolio that you're holding right now produce, and would it be enough to support your standard of living in retirement outside of Social Security and if you were fortunate enough to have a pension? And then the last thing we want to do is a Social Security maximization report. You know, Social Security is a very complicated issue. There's over 2,700 rules that apply to how you and your family can take Social Security. And Forbes magazine recently had an article that said many Americans leave a lot of money on the table. In some cases, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table throughout retirement that you are entitled to. You don't want that to be your story. So what we find by doing a financial x-ray, you have a really good understanding of where you're at and where you need to go in retirement. And we think this is prudent for anyone that is in retirement or close to retirement. And that's breaking down the basics. Well, uh, though I had a will to win and a really good work ethic, and big dreams, I really didn't have a background in building businesses other than I watched my dad and my grandfather and other people do it, but they didn't really teach me how to do that. So I guess I'm most surprised at how far we've come, how many people we've been able to help, because I just figured it would be a handful or maybe 50 or 100 families, not thousands of families. Um, and have, you know, as big a staff and everything that we have right now. So the blessing is that we get to help so many more people, even right now in a year, than I ever dreamed that we would get to help in a lifetime, and that's very rewarding. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. When it comes to investing for retirement, it's important to know that returns on fixed income options like CDs, savings accounts, and even bonds are extremely low. And that's not likely gonna change anytime soon. You need to generate income in retirement, but investing aggressively in the stock market comes with a lot more risk. If you're in or near retirement, this could be dangerous. However, there are some surprisingly attractive options to generate income in retirement without betting the farm. At Beacon Capital Management, we want to show you how to use your savings to generate retirement income with our free retirement income analysis. You'll discover the fastest way to increase your income that most people simply overlook. The key to protecting your principal from the increasing risk on Wall Street and the options to generate tax-free income in retirement. Learn your options, make your money work for you in retirement with our free retirement income analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. Welcome to today's Master's Money Moment. You know, the Bible has a lot to say about money and so on, and one of the things it talks about is debt. Now, it doesn't necessarily say that all debt is bad, but there's some caution here in this verse. The rich man rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. That's Proverbs 22, 7. It's easy to borrow money. It's easy to get into debt. And we think the only way to get ahead is, well, we'll just borrow more money, borrow more money, borrow more money. But you got to understand that that has to be paid off. And too much debt can be a very, very bad thing. We get in over our head and we take on way more than we should. And so the Bible is trying to warn us about making sure that we're making good sound decisions and don't make easy debt an easy way to get into trouble. So again, these are good words to pay attention to in today's society. And that's today's Master's Money Moment.
This may be hard to believe, but many hardworking Americans, just like you, could be paying even more taxes in retirement, including being taxed on your IRA, 401k, and any other deferred retirement accounts. With the threat of potential taxes increasing, your nest egg could be in trouble unless you take advantage of defensive tax saving strategies now. Now's the time to defend your hard earned savings. Call for your free customized tax savings analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. Time now for our tax tip of the week. Joined now by Patrick Min. We need to ask the question now, what is inside President Biden's tax plan that affects estates? This could be one of the areas that gets affect the most, Amy, because President Trump increased the exclusion to 11 and a half million per person, which really meant less than 1% of the people got impacted by estate taxes. Under the Biden approach, he's really going to go after that. So before the Trump tax plan, the top limit was five and a half million. So about half of what it is today. And there's even looks at bringing that down to three and a half million. So that would be significant if the exclusion came down that much. That would affect a lot more states. The other thing is the estate tax rate. It's right now at 40%. It would go up to 45%. And one of the biggest issues is what happens to the assets in that estate and how they are valued. That's a significant issue that people need to focus on. Great information. Thanks so much, Patrick. And that's our tax tip of the week. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. Did you know taxes could be your biggest expense in retirement? It's true, and it catches a lot of people by surprise. You've worked too hard to overpay on taxes come retirement. Learn how to keep more of what's yours and maintain your lifestyle in retirement by downloading this free tax guide now from Beacon Capital Management. Find out ways to save on taxes and enjoy the retirement you deserve. Go to beaconcm.com slash tax guide to get yours today. Do you have a plan for retirement? Maybe you have a 401k and some savings, but there is much more to retirement planning. Things like planning for health care costs, an income plan to maintain your lifestyle, creating a tax strategy, and an estate plan. At Beacon Capital Management, we know retirement planning can feel overwhelming. And that's why we're offering a free financial plan checkup to help you reach your retirement goals. So call to get yours today. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. It's time for Ask Beacon Now, which is a great part of our show where we get to ask these guys some questions, give you a chance to answer them. And I'm sure you're ready for this, right? As oh, yeah, always. we love this. Okay, We're I ready. know you do. Here we go. Here's our first question from Jane in Thompson Station. I have worked hard to save and invest my money over the years, but I am nervous about taxes on my investment accounts once I retire. Yeah, well, uh, that's a common theme and question that we get right now. Uh, through your working years, a lot of times you get to defer taxes on the investments, depending on what you put it in, but most people use tax deferred investments, 401k, 403b, IRA. Feels good now because you get to defer that. So, hey, it almost feels like tax free. But then when you get retired and you start living off that money and now you're on a fixed income, not only do you need your money to pay the bills, you have to part with some of it to Uncle Sam. So. Having a tax plan is very, very critical to a well thought out financial plan. If you really want to be confident, you need to know how much of your money is likely going to be used for taxes. And it's not just on your investments. There's kind of like a domino effect. So what you pay in taxes on your IRA or 401k can impact how much of your social security is taxed. And then how does that affect the cost of Medicare, which is like a tax? So there's kind of a, you know, ongoing, uh, you know, avalanche of taxes, if you will, that just happens. So the sooner you get planning for that, there may be steps to take right now that could really impact and help you significantly in the future. We do a lot of that. Okay, sounds good. Next question is from Tony in Nashville. I have about $500,000 in a 401k, but I'm wondering if that's the best place for it. Should I move it before I retire? 
Well, it's a great question Tony's asking. There's a lot of factors into that. One is how old is he? Mm -hmm. If you're still working and have money in your 401k and you're under 59 and a half, there's a good chance the company's not going to let you pull any money out of that without penalties and things of that nature. But there is one rule out there very few people are aware of. And if you're over the age of 59 and a half, still working, we see this all the yeah, time. A lot of those plans allow you to pull money out of the 401k pre-retirement and redistribute that in investments that might be more relevant to a retirement or an income plan or being more conservative. Things that a 401k may not allow you to do or there's just limitations on the amount of funds the 401k offers. And so I would say you want to look into whether you can pull the money out if you if that's an option for you. Talk to an advisor and see are you positioned the way you need to be or are there other options that could be better to get you prepared for retirement? Lots to think about. Yeah. Okay, here's another question from Carolyn in Mount Juliet. I have a granddaughter with medical conditions. I'd like to make sure all her medical expenses are covered once I'm gone and that's just a a great sentiment. It really is. For Carolyn to care that much and to really want to make sure that you're taken care of, this is the time to ask that, not when it's too late. So the good news at our office is that we have a professional that deals in estate planning and uh, is able to answer those questions because, again, it's not a one-size-fits-all. There's lots of different strategies that could be employed, and maybe there's not much that needs to be done. Maybe there's a lot that needs to be done, but you want to make sure that if that's a priority, preserving those assets for that uh, grandchild, uh, there are some things that can be done. And again, get the answers from someone who can help you and know, and at Beacon, we have that person available. Great insights, guys, as always. Always a pleasure to talk with you about this. Thank you so much. And if you have questions, go to askbeaconnow.com. We'll be right back. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. The last thing you want to be is flat broke when you are ready to retire. Generating income in retirement is more difficult today than ever before, but there are some surprisingly attractive options to generate income in retirement without betting the farm. At Beacon Capital Management, we want to show you how to use your savings to generate retirement income with our free retirement income analysis. Learn your options, make your money work for you in retirement, and schedule your free retirement income analysis today. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. As always, Pete, so much valuable information on the show today. You bet, Amy. And if you're ready to take action on your retirement future, give us a call right now. All right, thank you, Pete. And you can also visit the website for Pete and the team at Beacon Capital Management. I'm Amy Sharp, wishing you a happy and successful journey to and through retirement.